Um, this is for built-up members, how we can, can deal with these kind of problems. So do you remember this problem that I just started with in the shear stress problems? How to calculate the value mm -hmm. of shear, I mean how the shear stress is related to change in the moment, do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let me quickly and briefly review that again. So what do we have here is a T-section here which is connected by a nail. You know that the moment on the right side and on the left side is not equivalent with each other. Okay, and I learned that because the moment is not equivalent on the right hand and on the left side, the force acting on the top part of this beam is not similar on the right hand and on the left side. And that requires me to have one unbalanced force here. Okay, this is what we call it unbalanced force. Do you remember that? And we proved that this unbalanced force can be calculated from this equation. We just proved that. Delta F is delta M times Q over I. Do you remember this equation? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that equation gives me the value of this unbalanced force. And there is another version of this, which is similar to this one, but different version. And the difference between this and the other one is that I know that shear force is delta M over delta X. Do you remember this? Mm -hmm. So in that case, delta M would be V times delta X, and I can replace delta M by V times delta X. Okay, so here that would be the other format of this and that came from this uh, equation. So these two are equivalent to each other. Or when should I use the top one? When I have change in the moment in problem statement, I would use the top one. And I use the second equation when I have a shear force in the problem statement. But these two are giving me the same parameter. Okay, so now I would have unbalanced force here. This unbalanced force should be transferred by fasteners, here by nails or by bolts or by whatever. I may even glue the two elements together. So now let me just assume that I have nails here. Okay, Nails are connecting the top portion to the bottom portion and I have a spacing between nails. So here on the bottom figure you can see a three-dimensional shape of this section. Let me assume that the spacing between nails is S. Remember, this S is along the length of element. I want to see how can I design the number of nails here, or what would be stress in each of these nails. To understand that, I should note that the delta of F, or this unbalanced force, should be smaller than resistance forces that is caused or developed by this fastener system. Is that clear or no? Mm -hmm. The strength of each nail is say V pen, V sub pen. Okay. Can you tell me how much would be the total strength that is provided by these nails? The number of nails. So the number of nails. Is. Okay. So I can write it in this way. If V bolt or V pen is the resistance force of each bolt and if I know how much is the number of bolts that I have I can simply say delta F should be smaller than N times V bolt that's it mm -hmm. but now there is another question how many how many bolts do I have yeah. it depends on what is the spacing between bolts mm -hmm. so assume that the length of beam is delta X okay let us talk about that numerically assume that I have a 12 inch long beam, okay, and the spacing between bolts are 3 inch. So do you know how many bolts do I have there? Divided by gap. So 12 divided by 3, that gives me 4, so I have 4 bolts here, okay? So can you give me, a, a, not numerically, parametrically, how can I determine that? What is N? Delta X. Over S. That's it. Okay. So in that case, n would be delta x over s. So that is how we can calculate. How we, this is everything that we have in that problem. So I can write down the equation in this way. This is the equation that you can see in the summary. So that would be delta f, which is delta m q over i, or the other version of that, OK? It's equivalent should be smaller than n times v sub n. And remember, n might be 
delta x over s times v pin. I just need to sometimes we are using two nails at the same section. In that case I need to multiply that by two. That gives me two times delta x over s. So that is how we can calculate the value of this. Uh, I mean how, how we can get this equation. Now let me get back to this problem that you ask. Okay? okay. For this problem, um, well, how can I calculate Q? Q is always calculated for the part of section that I wanna connect that to the rest of body. Okay, look at this problem. What what is the Q that I need to consider here? I would say the top. The top part. Okay. So the top part I need to calculate Q for the top part of this beam. Now let me get back to this problem that I have here. For this one, how can I calculate Q? I'd say this. Mm -hmm. So I will consider this one. But you only need one. Yeah. Okay. We will discuss about that. Okay? okay. So let us assume that we are just considering the element number two. So yeah. in that case, how many volts are connecting this to this body? In, I'm talking about one section. One volt. Just one volt. And is it she double shear or single shear? I mean, how many? Single. It's a single shear. Okay. Okay. So that's how we can calculate. The, how we can determine what is the area. Okay, now there might be this question. Can I consider both section 2 and 3? I think you could, but you'd probably have to divide something else by 2. So in that case, I can consider both of them, but in that case, these two are transferring their force through double shear connection. So area is doubled, that means that the Q is doubled, but at the same time, the number of bolts or the it's you know here it's, I have double shear, so these two are canceling each other. Okay, so okay. that doesn't matter. So you either use one section mm -hmm. single shear, or mm -hmm. if you use both of these sections, you do double shear. Exactly. Does that make sense? But there's another version of this question. In the stuff, um, you 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 gave us a PDF. Mm -hmm. Stop questions. This is a homework. Yeah, this one's from the homework. The, the, the You're talking about the solved problems? Yeah, they got two exactly the same um, questions. You brought something interesting. Mm, let us discuss about this case. What is Q and what is the number of nails that I have here? So Q should be calculated in this case. Q should be calculated for the top portion of the beam. But how many nails do I have here? Two. It's two. So that is two times delta x over s. Okay, so the 2 and V. 2 actually is because at the same section I'm using two nails to connect okay. the top portion to these, the rest of the section. Okay. And you can go in, you know, if you consider all the problems that I have here, we can see the same thing for this problem, which is perhaps kind of the most difficult kind of problem that I have here. So for that problem, what I have done here is that I have calculated the Q for the both left and mm -hmm. side subsection. And in that case, look at this number, I have considered double shear uh, mm -hmm. connection. And another option would be considering just the left part or right part and cancels these two and that gives me the same number. I think it makes more sense in my head if I just do one section. Yeah, that I would think. be easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, does that make sense now? Yes, that was so helpful. <laughs> um, do you have any questions about that? Yeah, a little bit.